Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about gut health and the forgotten nutrient. The nutrient is called butyrate. So if you look at butyrate, it's called a forgotten nutrient because it impacts or helps things like irritable bowel, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So oftentimes when we think about gut health, most people are thinking about prebiotics, probiotics. We talk about glutamine, aloe vera, Nicholas Rye licorice. There's a lot of supplements out there for gut repair and gut healing, right? However, we don't really talk about butyrate. Butyrate is a short chain fatty acid that is produced by your friendly bacteria in, the, in your gut, right? The good bacteria in your gut will produce butyrate. It also produces things like acetate and propanate. So these are the three major short chain fatty acids that impacts gut health. So if your friendly bacteria or your good bacteria produces these short chain fatty acids, what would impact them, right? Things like antibiotics, right? Certain medications like antacids, um, even things like uh, diabetes medications like metformin. They will start to impact gut flora, reducing the levels of short chain fatty acids, thereby making you more susceptible for infection, more uh, issues for GI issues with like constipation, diarrhea, SIBO, irritable bowel disease, right? So it impacts the entire gut ecology. So if you look at it, if we could improve short chain fatty acids, right, by improving gut health, that's one way to improve the levels of uh, butyrate in your gut. However, what we find is that it's hard to get a large amount of butyrate into our system or to produce it. So we need to take it in as a supplement initially and then work on healing the gut. You gotta remember that these short chain fatty acids are the primary fuel for what we call colonocytes, or the cells of the, of the intestines, right? So if it's the primary fuel, if you don't have any fuel for something, it's not gonna run correctly. Or if you have very little fuel, it's gonna run incorrectly, right? So it's very important to have proper levels. So why is short chain fatty acids so important? because it has many effects. One is anti-inflammatory, right? Reduces inflammation. Antioxidative. What that means is it takes the oxidative blow of environmental toxins, right? Chemicals, drugs, etc. And it's also antimicrobial. So it prevents overgrowth of bad bacteria or uh, autoimmune trigger bacteria or uh, pathogens from getting into the gut. The way it does that is it impacts what we call T cells or T regulatory cells, right? T reg cells, right? And these cells are really in the uh, gut associated lymphoid tissue or GALT. And when you impact T regulatory cells, you can impact the entire immune system by balancing. So we call the T regulatory cells the conductor. So if we have a conductor that could regulate your immune system, right? Things like Th1, Th2, Th3, Th17. If you have T regulatory cells that could impact or balance your immune system, then you're gonna be less susceptible for autoimmune disease. As a matter of fact, Butyrate has been shown to impact things like type 1 diabetes, as well as propanate, right? Because it affects glucose regulation to a certain extent. So when we look at this entire uh, cascade of things, we have to say, how do we improve butyrate, propanate, acetate, right? The short chain fatty acids. One is by improving gut flora, right? So you can take a probiotic, uh, help improve the uh, gut flora, etc. One, you can do a uh, what we'll call the veggie mash, improving uh, fiber uh, from vegetables. 
uh, into our gut and introducing it. And that will help fuel the gut and also improve uh, gut diversity, which will overall help the patient's uh, bowel functions, uh, immune re dysregulation, and so forth. So in the beginning, when we have a patient coming in with a lot of symptoms, we will supplement with butyrate, right? Because you have to get their systems in order. So it can have a big impact in the beginning. But the overall goal, uh, goal of this is to improve the gut function so you can produce your own short-chain fatty acids. Remember, it regulates T-regulatory T-cells, right? So it balances your immune system. So it's a great way to also fight autoimmunity because you're dampening inflammation, you're dampening uh, um, uh, overdrive of a, a Th1 system or a Th2 system. And things like vitamin D, fish oil, and glutathione will also help the T regulatory T, uh, T regulatory cells. So if you use a combination of different things, you can impact autoimmune disease, right? You can help put it into remission. You don't cure autoimmune disease. It's going to be always there on the line. However, if you do the right things with dietary changes, supplementation, lifestyle changes, you can push a thyroid condi condition into remission or a autoimmune condition like a Crohn's disease into remission. So the goal is to manage autoimmune disease, not to quote, um, uh, quote unquote, cure autoimmune disease, right? So when we look at this entire profile, the forgotten nutrient uh, by many even practitioners is something called butyrate, right? Short chain fatty acids. It's very important that you go ahead and look up what this is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write out the name of it and put my online store there. That way, you could, when you go on and, and sign up, you can search the, the topic of butyrate, and it'll show you different companies that produce butyrate of high quality. All right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung. We're at Clinical Excellence Meets Excellent Results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.